red Taryn, and in the bottom left we have Adele Scott Ooh. as the blue Protoss, and uh-oh, well, if the Muslim can hear the cast pretty clearly, I will speak no further. Adele Scott is spawning as the color blue. I'm not even going to say what race he is. No advantage to the Muslim. I, I don't know. Maybe he played random. He probably spawned as Zerg. Uh, he could, he could have done something rather crafty. I mean, we even saw the infamous uh, Maz Morrow. I know. Do a little swap of Ruha to Zerg. This is obviously a, you know, an issue with uh, playing at a live event. And obviously, when we watch all the Korean events, they always had these big soundproof booths. And that's what we make to have sure. And being honest. Um, the Muslim being extremely honest with the situation, uh -huh. saying, all right, guys, I can hear everything you're saying. So <laughs> that's probably what Phoenix had as well in the first game also, uh, and had to sort that out. So they're going to sort that out to make sure everything is all right. Now, I would just like to state for the record, um, as you guys can see, okay, you see what I'm doing? See how I'm not saying it? Because he does have his headphones off. All right, you see what I'm doing? I'm pretty good. Now, we're going to have to keep that a secret. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> This is just, again, a little bit of an unfortunate situation to set up, but it looks like the Muslim is readjusting his headphones and just trying to make sure that everything is set up. Here is the good luck, good luck, good luck, and as long as the Muslim and Adele Scott are ready, we are going to bounce into the game. Now, psst. What do you, what do you want to tell me, Day 9? You want to tell me something? There's a probe going through the gold expansion. Oh, my God. I don't think the Muslim knows about this. I know if he uh, he he both had to not listen to what we were saying and not turn around yeah, and look directly at the probe that was about. on the screen. <laughs> I was like, wow, that is just one of the worst, most unfortunate things in the universe. But there is the pylon going down. Adele Scott going to try to sneak gateways in the main, and there is one supply depot going down for the Muslim. And you know, honestly, this is going to be such a tough spot to be in uh -huh. as the Muslim because he can't build the barracks until that supply depot is finished. And there's the gateway going down. Adele Scott could even have a stable transition off this. I don't know. Is, is he going to go for the one or two gates, though? He is going to be putting the first one down here. Oh, I try not to speak too loud, either. And the Muslim has no idea. Where is his barracks going to be, though? A lot of players... Oh, my God. Is he, I thought he was going to go down there. No, he does wall off there with the supply depot, also. Um, we've got to see if he goes for the second gateway, though. That's going to be the important factor. Is he saving? Yes, here he is. He's going to put the second gateway down now. So we do have two gateways inside the base of the Muslim. And I dislike the way that probe went into the base, Ooh. actually. He should have gone to the ramp and then come in normally and I'm pretty sure the Muslim smart enough to be like oh wait a minute why did you do that and here we see he uh -oh. sees it and now the Muslim knows exactly what is going on and it looks like this probe has trapped the SCV so might be able to pick it off no and here comes a lot of SCVs from the Muslim he does not want to lose to some sort of early uh, cheese in this second game Adele Scott reeling a little bit from his previous match just wanted to end this one quickly and there's the chrono boost oh my gosh the Muslim bringing almost everything off one marine coming out right now and there's the bunker going down another gateway from Adele Scott as that gateway is already down to half life the Muslim trying to pick this gate off doesn't even have enough money for another zealot and it looks like he's chrono boosting that one and one zealot does manage to pop out so now he's uh, going to be able to do quite a bit of damage and there's the one marine out also trying to fire away but that oh, zealot is going to be, be safe he has to be so careful oh my god he is he, is he needs to complete that but he completes it the Muslim showing his skate actually gets the surround on the Zealot with the SCVs. It does go down though. There is one Zealot going straight for the mineral line. It looks like the gateway is going to go down. Finally, he needs to make sure though his mineral line is going to be in a lot of trouble. He's using very nice. He's got so good micro the Muslim. Really showing us trying to block that Zealot with the SCV as well. Brilliant play by the Muslim. The Muslim doing a very nice job trying to stay cool under this kind of pressure. The Zealots are running around in the main. We do see that Adele Scott doesn't have any other probes in his main, and in the meantime, nothing mining for the Muslim. He needs to be so careful. Adele Scott could continue to put a little bit too much pressure on the opponent, and look at this right now. Nothing mining for the Muslim. He's trying to control as best he can, but the zealots for Adele Scott are almost everywhere. And how many SCVs now do we have compared to this? If we look at the unit counter station, 10 SCVs to 15 probes. So, I mean, if he just stops production off these now, um, it looks like he will be slightly ahead. He is getting another oh. gateway inside the base. Look at that, Adele Scott now just transitioning to a normal game plan. The Muslim invested so much in this defense that he has almost nothing left, and Adele Scott is sprinting out to a very early lead. Yeah, he's definitely got this lead. Seven probes ahead. Uh, the orbital command being made now, so he's obviously going to go a couple of SCVs down while he gets this up. The refinery is being made now by the Muslim. 
a, another marine has been made so he has five marines out in total he's probably going to stop and he's going to build a bunker on the natural here just in case of any form of follow-up cheese will happen especially if he does go for aggressive stalkers he definitely needs it up probably going to be seeing a tech lab added quite quickly onto that barracks that's the reason for the move and you know what impresses me so much about the way Adele Scott is playing is that he treated that build almost as though he didn't mind if his opponent saw it coming. It looks like Adele Scott is throwing down an expansion so brilliant. What on earth can the Muslim do? No early push is going to be effective at all because it is just Marines. No gas was down in this base. Adele Scott just uh, such a brilliant, brilliant opening. And there's the chrono boosted stalker coming out. I think the Muslim's going to be in shock when he sees what is at the his opponent's base yeah he's gonna be down he's gonna go down and be like oh no he's gonna have two base pretty soon uh the stalker is gonna come out he won't be able to stop the scv scouting this it will go straight down he's gonna see it now he sees the nexus in place uh, the muslims thinking oh no i mean this is his first game in the tournament as well adele's got losing the first one versus phoenix and now he's coming back in a fantastic fashion against the muslim here absolutely stunning comeback i mean the muslim almost responded to that push as though he knew it was coming, sent tons of SCVs down, killed off the gateway. Adele Scott kept making more gateways in the main, three full gateways there. Almost certainly, if you're into Muslim spot, you think if I just hold this off, I win. But Adele Scott having just such a clever transition and the Muslim doing a defensive expand. Yeah, he's going to expand now. He realizes that he's going to be so far behind. He's already behind 10 probes, nine probes now. Therefore, he needs to get this expansion up, get the second orbital command out so he can start pumping down these mules to try and catch back up into the game. And we have three gateways now. Is he? Oh, yes, he is researching warp gate, and that's almost completed now. If he kind of transitioned into like a six gate push, he's even taken a couple off gas, now putting them back in again. But if he transitioned into some six gate timing, that could absolutely mess the Muslim up. Definitely. The Muslim going for the very fast stem, an extremely defensive play. We even see here more bunkers going down, keeping very tight to that command center. Has to defend the ramp and this left flank at the same time. Such an awkward spot to be in. And it looks like Adele Scott, even though he did lose that last game, is just coming back so, so impressively. Very fun player to watch. Do you know what would have been an even cooler reaction for Adele Scott to do is when he saw that expo, he could have actually just taken a third because oh, there is no yeah, way yeah. the Muslim can do anything. He's building two bunkers. The Muslim is on the back foot and he now th feels that he has to defend this location. So and, and in that kind of process, Adele Scott could have easily taken a third and then just powered through into the late game. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the two bunkers are full. The Muslim is swinging around to this hidden back left uh, path, so that way he can get a good sense of what's going on in Adele Scott's base. But in the meantime, Adele Scott playing this out so safe, so smart. In the resource counting station, we see that he is a full 22 food ahead of his opponent and has no inclination to slow down in the slightest. There's the scan. Ooh, I'm not so sure I like that scan. Well, yeah, I think he was like thinking that his SUV was going to die a little sooner than that and therefore he wanted to see the army composition. Uh, he doesn't actually have that many units as he's pumping out so many drones. He's got like a 23 uh, probe lead, uh, four gate down now. It looks like he is going to be putting a, a pylon at the back of the base here uh, and the robo bay is out. Doesn't have any immortals out yet though. That's obviously going to be key. Oh, it looks like Adele Scott is straight up going for a robotics bay. I don't know how much I like this. I think I might have preferred a little bit earlier of a third, or at the very least, just an observer to just check out what's up with the opponent, as you do have so much time. But Adele Scott going to play this out very calmly, clearly trying to defend all his possible bases. And the Muslim needs to do absurd amounts of damage with this Yeah, push. he's so far behind. 46 food. Supply capped at 46 food, actually. And here the Muslim is coming in. He's not even staying, staying oh. late. Great force field by Adele Scott. And the Muslim, oh my gosh, he's on the back foot. Still supply capped at 46 food, and, and Adele's got an 83 now on this, looking pretty bad for the Muslim. Oh, the Muslim actually salvaged those two bunkers and is immediately rebuilding them because Adele Scott is moving in with a very intimidating force right now. More uh, gateway units continuing to stream up, and here's the big push. Oh, will he be able to get a force field on that ramp? That would be so huge. More SCVs for the Muslim coming down to join in the defense. There's the stim. The last thing that the Muslim wanted to do, he's cut off from the bunker. SCVs are getting picked off. The Muslim trying to retreat back to these bunkers the only thing that he can hope to stay alive and as we see Adele Scott is more than doubling his opponent in food oh 54 probes now to 26 SUV just pulling ahead and he is going to just go ahead and take this gold expansion pylon has been put there so he can continue to warp in units and Adele Scott is really 
really coming back from his previous game. And it looks like Colossus are going to be started making. Now, one is out. The second is being corner boosted out now. And I don't know if the Muslim can hold this. I mean, as soon as these Colossus are out and the range upgrade has been finished, it's going to be pretty hard for the Muslim to do anything. Absolutely. Adele Scott playing this out so smart and so safe. The best way to take advantage of a lead is just to get a bigger lead. He will do that by expanding, by very cautious attacking, and this could be a possible win. No, it looks like Adele Scott's going to wait for the Colossus. He is going to wait for the Colossus here. He needs to move in. He doesn't have the upgrade. He's only now uh, researching it. As soon as that research is done, he can start hitting the bunkers from a distance. I don't think he will go in, though. It seems kind, kind of dangerous, especially if the Muslim decides to pull some SUVs. He's trying to snipe the supply depot. He's got to be careful, though. Uh, force field in the middle of both supply depots. Absolutely doesn't want those supply depots to join together, creating a barrier between their friendship. One of the depots will end up falling, and just notice how a lot of these Marines and Marauders are in red and orange life. The scout factory will not be finding out too much information except the units that will be killing him. And at this point in time, there is, ugh, you really don't want to see a second Colossus when you're in the Muslim spot. Yeah, and once again, to Muslim supply blocked again. I mean, he's stuck at 78 food. He's got to be really careful about that. And I really do think just from the start of that game, uh, the 2K just threw him off his game completely, and he just hasn't recovered to show us the form he's usually used to displaying. Mm -hmm. There's Photon Cannons going down by Adele Scott, playing this out as safely as he can, getting more Gateway units, more Colossi, trying to gear up for a big push. Medivacs are out for the Muslim, but he has so few units that once those range 9 Colossi start chewing through those bunkers, it's going to be tough to hold. Yeah, and 120 on the external uh, thermal lance. Here it is. It's almost completed a few seconds away from completion, and then he will be moving in with these Colossus for sure to try and take this down. He's actually moving back, actually. I wonder why that is. No, he's like dancing around the map, trying to confuse the casters. But he will be moving forward at, with these two Colossus to go in to try and finish off the Muslim. And here's the big push. He's going to use this range 9, cutting units off by this ramp. There are the Vikings trying to do damage, but the Muslim has to have perfect control to take these Colossi out. Yeah, and he's doing damage onto the bunkers. The Muslim pulling off all these SCVs. This looks like it. He has to try and do damage here. Stim, great force force blocking them off the ramp. Oh, and it looks like the Muslim's still sprinting forward. Will he be able to take out any of the Colossi? There's a force field. One Colossus does fall, but there's an attempted to re retreat by the Muslim. Gets taken out. More Colossi sprinting forward. The Muslim doing quite an amazing defense, but he's just been so far behind all game long. I don't know if it's going to be enough for him to catch up. Yeah, the income tab is incredible right now. If you look at it, 2,400 compared to 700. I just don't think the Muslim has the economy to fight against this. I think he knows this now as his units aren't moving around. And the Muslim is in a ton and of trouble. And there's a good game. Adele Scott managing to take the win. A big sigh of relief. Starting off the tournament 0-1 in his group, but now tying it up 1-1 and will probably face his most comfortable match, which will be Murs in his final set. But again, that will be happening in the next hour. And that's completely group changing for Adele Scott. If he'd gone and lost that game, he would have been in a lot of trouble, but manages to pull out a 